All right, so here we are at section uh, 2.4. So we're all about variables here, and we'll talk about the assignment statement in the next slide. Uh, we have uh, a video here from our author, so about variables, and he does an overview. So please watch that video first. You can see the link up at the top of the slide. Watch that video first, then come back and watch this, okay? All right, so assuming you've seen that, uh, let's go ahead and talk about variables a little bit. So you saw uh, some of the stuff that, that uh, Tony Gattis went over. Uh, we have, uh, when we're talking about variables, uh, we're talking about uh, a location and memory where a value can be stored. So we're, we're going to see some examples of that here in a second. Um, we'll, use that as, we'll use an assignment statement to store the value. Uh, after we've defined, uh, sometimes at the same time, but you, you'll see that in a second. Uh, and then uh, the value that's stored can be changed. So we've got uh, some, some, if we want to change that, you, you'll see that in a second too. I'll show you a couple examples of how that works. Uh, and then the first thing is you have to define the variable. So indicating the name, so whatever the name is that you're going to use, and the type of value that it can hold. Is it going to be, you know, uh, just a, a, a string? Is it going to be an integer? Is it going to be a float of some type? Uh, you know, is it going to be a character? So there's lots of different things that you can do. Uh, but And you have to tell uh, the computer what you're going to do. So we're going to say, hey, wait, um, we're going to go ahead and define this. Then we can store a value. Okay, so let's take a look just at a couple examples. Uh, if we're looking at an assignment statement, that's where you're going to use the assignment operator, the equal sign. So if we look down here, uh, you can see int item. So what we're doing with this is this is our definition. So we're saying that item is going to be our variable name, and it is of type integer so we're going to store an integer in there meaning a whole number for for this purpose if we were using a float then we would have uh you know a, a different piece in here right so uh, for now though we're just going to use integer and then going down below it you can see here's our uh, assignment operator the equal sign showing up right here so this is our assignment statement for this piece so we have item equals 12. so we're saying up above here we're defining this and we're saying hey we're going to have this Item is going to be our, our variable name. It's going to be an integer. And then we're going to store the value of 12 in here. Okay, so single variable name on the left-hand side and a value on the right. So you, it can't be the reverse. You can't have 12 over here. You can't say 12 equals item. It does not work. You will get an error every single time. Okay, so you've got to, you've got to remember that. Um, and let's see, it copies the value uh, on the right associated with that location so that it ties it in with that. So every time you use item from now on, uh, the computer's gonna go look in that location where it's storing, uh, where, that, where that storage is, and it's gonna pull out the number 12, at least for right now. Uh, a little bit later on, you'll see them combined. You'll see these two things combined where you would do all of this in one statement. So we have int item equals 12. So this would also function. For now, you're going to see things written out more like this. Okay, so and that's fine. Eventually, you'll end up probably doing it this way. Uh, but it just depends on what you're trying to do and how you're setting your variables up and all that. Okay, so let's look at uh, rolling over here. We will look at a couple of examples of this and how it works. So just an example, I'm just gonna pull the code up. So it's it's in here, I added a couple of indels, but that's okay. Uh, so let's take a look at this. And it's trying, okay, here we go. All right, so just looking at the code itself, we have, um, you know, this program has a variable, let me go back. Okay, so we're, you know, standard stuff here, so input output stream library, namespace standard, here's our end function, here we go. Okay, so at the beginning, here's our definition. Um, we're saying this variable name age is going to be of type int. So it's gonna be an integer variable. Then on line nine, we come down here and we're saying, okay, age is going to equal 17. So this is sign 17 to age. Then we're gonna go C out and we're gonna say age and it's and then when I just put it in line, so go to the next one, you'll see it display 17. Now uh, we have a new assignment statement. So age now equals 18, and we're going to print that out, and then that's the end of the program. So I click go, our little visualize button down here. We're going to go ahead and roll in. As soon as it loads, okay, here we go. And we got enough room over there. So I'm going to hit forward. Here's our first line that's going to run. Age equals 17. Notice as we do this. We have uh, in our main function, that's what that's doing there. So I, I absolutely love uh, this tool that Philip created. So we have um, age, 
it already knows we're going to have age defined. Uh, so it's already, it's already defined that. And then we're going to um, have an assignment operator that's going to tell it what to put in there. Right now it has no idea because it hasn't run yet. So I'm going to hit forward. Boom, it throws 17 in there. Now it goes down to line 10. It's going to print that. Boom, right there. Now we're changing the value here. So we're going to say age equals 18. And I'm going to hit the next button. Boom, now age is 18. So now when it says, okay, I want to see out, I want to print the same variable, but the value has changed. So when I click forward, now it says 18 right here. And it has went down to the next line. Okay, so that's one example uh, that we have there. And you'll see that the next one kind of works the same. Let's go back over here. Uh, and I'm going to go to sample 2-8 from the book. Come on, little baby. Here we go. Okay, so on this one, um, we're just using apples. Uh, let's see. Come on. Okay, let's go back in here. Okay, so we're using apples instead of age, but it's the same concept. So now we have a new name. So apples, and in the apples, we're defining the first uh, apples right here. We, we've defined it as an integer, and then we're going to come down here to this assignment statement, and we're saying apples equals 20. So it goes to the memory location for apples, pulls out 20 each time. And then on our C out, it says on Sunday we sold. Notice how this is a string separated here with our less than signs. And then we can put in the variable. Notice there, when we're referring to the variable, no quotes. Okay, if we put this in quotes, uh, matter of fact, let's, uh, oh, we'll do it afterwards. We'll do it afterwards. We'll run it twice. Okay, and then we'll come down here and uh, it's, it's going to say this many bushels of apples. Then it goes to the new line, comes down, it has a new assignment statement saying now it's 15, prints out the same statement. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit forward. And you can see it's storing apples as 20. We're saying, hey, we sold these. Notice the spacing that we used here to make sure it put spaces in between there. If you don't include the spaces here, the, these would be right next to each other. All these would be together. So you have to be a little bit careful. Okay, now we're redefining. See, it's 20 right now. Now the computer sees that, oh no, it's 15. Still an integer. Boom, here we go on Monday, we sold 15 bushels of apples. So now see how it changed it up and then that's the end of our program. So let's go back real quick and um, add quotes here because I told you I wanted to do that. Notice how we're changing this to a string. So now we're using a string. It doesn't matter that it's the same name as this. And what it's gonna do is just print a sentence here. It's gonna be kind of weird and uh, we won't get the value. So let's see, let's hit forward. So integer still storing 20. So the computer looks at it and goes, okay, there's 20 here. All right, and then I'm going to hit forward. On Sunday, we sold apples, bushes of apples. Then we're going to redefine it as 15 again and print it out, and we're fine. Okay, so, and we're all done, right? But this is messed up. Okay, so notice how the program worked. It compiled, it ran, uh, it, you know, had an output of, uh, you know, what it thinks is the right thing, but this is this is not right. So this would be a logic error. So we did this wrong. This is our fault. This is not the computer's fault. The computer did what it was told to do. All right. So it, as opposed to a syntax error uh, where, you know, maybe I only put one quote and left the others off and then it's a disaster. So, right, then it's not going to work. So if I did something like that, um, it's going to go, wait a second, what are you trying to do? Uh, so you got got to be careful of that. In fact, let me click on that real quick. Oh, look at this. Boom. So stray backslash. So it's all mess. It's just, it doesn't even know what to do, but it knows that on this line, there's something wrong. So you just have to be really careful of that. So, so pay attention when you're putting these together. Uh, if you're referring to it as a variable, make sure you don't put quotes around it. Definitely don't want that. Okay. Uh, that's it for this section. Oh, wait a second. I forgot I had this little section in here too. So let me, let, let's go ahead and add this part in here about literals because we were just talking about this basically. Uh, so piece of data written directly in the source code. So you can do this a lot of different ways. We'll get to this one uh, in a little bit. So a character literal uses single quotes and it's a single letter, a single character. So um, think like uh, press wire in to continue, something like that, you know, those kinds of things. So do you want to continue? Yes. Or, or you know, why in for no, that kind of stuff. Uh, string literal, so just the strings that we've been looking at inside do double quotes. An integer literal, we just saw a second ago when we're assigning the value of 12 to something. Um, a string literal, this again is a string literal. Um, I guess the yes exclamation point is a little obnoxious, but uh, that 
whenever you put something in quotes uh, like this, uh, this will become a string. Okay, so just like hello. All right, and then a floating point, we'll get to those two. So uh, floating point meaning that you can have uh, decimal places and, and include these numbers. All right, so uh, those are a few uh, little, uh, literals that we have there. So as we look at this real quick, um, this little uh, checkpoint question. So which of the following are legal C++ assignment statements? Take a second. I'm gonna just kinda hang out here. I feel like I need the Jeopardy music. Uh, so anyway, as you look at these, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, next thing on here and you'll see, oh, look at that, A equals seven. That's the only legal C++ assignment statement. You cannot start this type of statement with a number. This will give you an error every single time. Doesn't mean you can't have a number in your variable name. We could say, if I want to, you know, nine here, maybe I say like, number nine or you know num nine or whatever i can have a nine in there I just can't start with it okay so and seven equals seven same kind of thing so it has to start with a letter uh looking at this uh as the code runs uh we have uh this int main and i put a little note here there's no there's no if you were going to actually throw this in a compiler you'd have to add your own header and everything it doesn't show everything but we have uh, int main okay and then here we're, de we're uh, defining it here so we're going to say that the variable name is going to be number it's a, of integer type and then we're saying using the uh, assignment operator it's equal to 712 okay and then we're saying right here see out uh, the value is i put these in between which is great uh, no problem at all and then number the little, little babies and number okay so if this was going to run, uh, what you would end up seeing is the value is, and then the word number, because there's quotes, so this made it a string. Of course, these quotes are the weird ones. If you copy and paste this over, this isn't going to work. Uh, and then, um, you know, the, the pretty quotes. Uh, and then end L and go down to the next line. So this would just say the value is number, and that's it. Okay, so if you were to print this so that it would uh, work, you don't want to remove the quotes around number, then it will print the value. So this would say the value is 712, and then go to the next line, and that's it. Okay, so now we're at the end of the section.